hello guys welcome back to yaki studios in this video i'm gonna showcase easy voxels marching cubes version first of all with version 2.0 marching cubes it's now a mesh component which inherits from procedural mesh component you can configure everything from inside the component you have to provide a density builder you have some generic settings like units resolution ISO level inverted chunk radius this is used for uh, chunked terrains chunk landscape chunked planets or whatever use shared points you, uh, this option if it's enabled it will make sure that you don't have duplicate uh, vertices in your geometry also if you want to use level of detail you need to have use shared points enabled you can also force manifold mesh which uh, will try to to keep mesh in one piece you also have normal type where you can select gradient advanced gradient basic these two uh, generate the normals based on neighbors voxel points and you also have triangle which generates uh, the normals based on the vertices in the triangles you also can use original algorithm which is standard marching cubes as described by Paul Bork you can see the tooltip you can go to that URL and read more about it you have chunk slot which is used as well in chunked terrains chunked landscapes level of detail you have automatic level of detail maximum level of detail max collision level of detail and let's see how this level of detail works automatic level of detail works first of all let's switch to brush wireframe as you can see there are some some changes between marching cubes which is on the right side and dual marching cubes on the left side however let's let's simulate and let's go back and see how level of detail works you can see the meshes got simplified automatically let's go further back the meshes got simplified again this is cool everything gets handled automatically so you don't have to struggle with anything you also can modify at runtime the meshes there is a sculpt event kind of basic sculpt event that demonstrates how you can modify voxel meshes at runtime let's see how this works let's play it nice let's see the marching cubes that's cool the density builder you have to provide a density builder to the marching cubes component density builder it's uh, an object which is used by the uh, marching cubes and dual marching cubes algorithms to to generate the voxels you have construct density point which is a constant function this means you cannot write outside variables this is uh, done to prevent race condition or other threading issues that may occur 
you have density build up here this is basically a sphere and that's it with the asteroid demo let's switch to chunked terrain chunk terrain it's kind of basic you have a voxel manager which spawns the chunks you spawn one chunk per frame in this particular example we do that so we don't clog the game by spawning thousands of chunks in settings we have chunk radius which is currently five on each axis we can go with 10 using 10 chunks on each axis means we spawn 1000 chunks we use gradient normal type gradient advanced which gives the best results density builder for terrain It's using the noise plugin it's kind of basic mm, not such a big thing here let's see the chunk we have a maximum level of detail of five and maximum collision level of detail is zero this means only on the highest quality mesh the collision will be generated the rest is pretty basic let's see how this works one thousand chunks are getting processed right now we have to be a little bit patient it's done let's switch to brush wireframe to see how level of detail actions you can see as we get close to a chunk the quality increases as we go back the quality decreases this is it thanks for stopping by I hope you enjoy the video and see you in the next one bye